All right. As you know, there is this a big, uh, there's a massive migrant crisis uh, in the U.S. Migrants are crossing the border. Uh, some of them are being shipped to places like New York. New York doesn't have the money and the just the place, the 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 the, the, the infrastructure to house all these people and to feed them and to provide them with a stipend. There's just not enough money. The same is happening in El Paso, Texas. El Paso, Texas is seeing a, a massive inflow of migrants. And, uh, it, you know, they, they just don't have the housing to provide for them. And they, they don't have the resources. They don't have the money. And, uh, and, and, and people are, you know, these migrants are just being dumped in the middle of a city like uh, El Paso. And the expectation is that the city will take care of them. Now, of course, the whole issue of migration and the whole issue of, of, uh, of illegal immigrants and uh, crossing the border and entering into the United States and what to do about it, how to treat them and all of that, it's a super complex issue. And uh, we'll talk about that another time. And you, you know my controversial views on it. But here, this whole issue of we don't have enough money to take care of them. That's the whole problem of illegal migration. The whole problem of the way the United States approach, approaches this issue on its southern border is captured in that sentence. We don't have enough money to take care of them. Why are we taking care of them? Why do we have an immigration system that requires us to take care of them? Why has immigration become a, a, a global welfare program where anybody from anywhere in the world can come in and get welfare? get uh, accommodation and get food and get uh, all the stuff. Now, part of the reason is because we won't let them work. Explicitly, we won't let them work. Right? Oh, I have to comment on, on something Doron writes, wrote here. It, it, uh, yeah, it, maybe later. I'll comment on that. <laughs> I'll comment on that. Um, why? I mean, if you don't let them work, then they're going to stop in the street. But of course, maybe if they stop in the streets, they won't keep coming. That is, this is, this is the crazy system that we have. Why not just say and make it clear to everybody in the world the, that people are welcome to come here. Um, they can cross the border. They can apply for asylum. But they will get literally zero help from the U.S. government. Not from the federal government, not from state government, not from local government. It's not the role of government to provide welfare to asylum seekers or to migrants or whatever they want to call themselves. Now, it would be good if we allowed uh, them to get work permits and then they could get work. But the one easy, straightforward solution to this is just not pay them welfare. Just stop. I mean, New York is about to do that because they just ran out of money. So the city is literally distributing flyers at the southern border and in, um, in immigrant shelters saying, look, don't come to New York. We don't have any money. We don't have any resources. We can't give you a home. We can't give you a stipend. The federal government won't allow us to give you work permits, so you can't work. And by the way, New York City is the most exp one of the most expensive cities in the world, and we cannot help you get a work permit. And you won't be able to find work here, although from what I hear, they're all working illegally in New York, black market. New York is full. Don't come. <laughs> but if that was, I mean, the message should be, the U.S. government is not going to support uh, give handouts to migrants. You come, you, you, you know, starve. Now, ideally, ideally, but I don't expect this, we say, come and work. We're looking for people to work. Come and work. Here's a work visa. But that's not going to happen. So at least, I mean, I, I love that everybody's worried about, everybody talks about the migrant crisis. Everybody talks about how horrible it is. 
Uh, they're taking over the country. They're doing this. They're doing that. They, we don't have the welfare state. Bank up the welfare state. New York doesn't have enough money. All this stuff. And, and nobody talks about why are they getting any money to begin with? Why are they getting any money to, to begin with? And, you know, this is what we're seeing right now is, you know, the bankruptcy of the welfare state, the bankruptcy of altruism, the inability of anybody in our government to say, you know, we can't redistribute your wealth anymore. We're stopping. Uh, they do this with Americans, and they do this with anybody who crosses the border who needs anything. And that now has become the standard. Welfare is, you cannot question it. You can question migrants, you can question work, you can question anything. You can't question welfare. Why well, I say, let's just end welfare. Certainly we should end welfare for everybody, but as a simple solution for right now, just end welfare for immigrants, all immigrants. They shouldn't need it. Now, again, we should also allow them to work. I, I find it yeah, pretty amazing that the assumption of every single news article that I read about this is that the state has to take care of these people. They have to take care of them. And that, you know, that that's the problem. The problem is they don't have enough money. Or the problem is there are too many migrants coming in. But nobody's willing to question the assumption of why do we have to take care of them?